This video is uh, in fulfillment of uh, GCU 542 and what we're going to be doing is a blended delivery uh, introduction and this is the storyboard for that. How we're going to start is with a uh, overview of the traditional classroom. Uh, in the traditional classroom I will point out that you have the teacher at the front of the room and you have students uh, in, in in neat little rows and and what happens is knowledge information just goes this way and that was in in, tr in history that was probably the best way to do things um, but what would happen and a lot of times what would happen uh, at home those students would try to do homework and they would just become frustrated because they had questions and with the teachers not there here's the teacher and they're not there the only person that they have to go to is mom and dad and mom and dad have questions because they oftentimes don't remember how to do these things and so it just leads to frustration between mom dad and frustration towards school In the flip, flipped classroom, it's different. And what we want to point out in the tutorial uh, next week is that in the flipped classroom, the teacher prepares lessons outside of class. That could be done uh, on a planning period or after school. And these lessons are, prepa are prepared and they are sent out to the Internet on the World Wide Web. That's supposed to be a picture of the Earth. You'll have to forgive my drawing. And then the student can view those lessons from home. And this becomes the homework. So now the, the, the student doesn't have to go home and practice problems or practice uh, uh, performing on information that they don't understand very well. Instead, they can learn that information at home uh, from their computer. Then when students reach the classroom, uh, this frees up time for collaborative environments. Uh, they can work together based on the information that they've learned and they can build on that so they can take this information and put it into practice and meanwhile the teacher still plays a very important role but he can he or she can just go out and facilitate these things and just help uh, guide uh, students as they learn Um, the the format of the tutorial will be a video format. I plan to use something similar to the application that I'm using right now, which is called Explain Everything. Um, this seems like the tool that would be a, a good fit for it. Uh, the tutorial will eventually be placed in the iBook. Uh, that's where we're going to use the tutorial. Um, for the purpose at GCU, it'll just go into a website. The iBook will not be created until later on in June. So uh, for now, we're going to put it into a website. This is also a place where we're going to get to practice a lot of the best practices in web designs. And so um, I know that you know what we're going to look for there is a good color theory uh, and good um, a site layout in terms of simplicity and free from distractions. We're going to try to accommodate learning styles. Um, we are going to go down through the list, and, and I will mention, you know, for visual learners, this is one way that you can do it. We'll, we'll supply, um, we'll supply a text step-by-step -step instructions or kind of a, uh, a spelled-out way that you can do it for the, more, uh, for the auditory learners or for those who, who would prefer to le learn by reading. And then um, in terms of Section 508, uh, there is really no better tool uh, than the iPad for this. Um, it accomplishes uh, things in terms of modifications and, and meeting the needs of those with disabilities actually much better than, than any other uh, technology that I've come across recently. And so this is how the, uh, the tutorial will work, and uh, I appreciate you listening.